is Brittany Samsa, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today, I'd like to give you an overview of the electric cable tools that make up the Tensor tool family. To start, I'm going to tell you about the Tensor SL tool. The Tensor SL is the low torque option within the Tensor family. The SL tools are ESD rated and they are available in four configurations. As you can see behind me, there's a right angle model, an inline model, a pistol grip model, as well as a fixture model. With lower torque capability from 0.3 newton meters up to 20 newton meters, the Tensor SLs utilize a smaller cable than their larger counterpart tools. In addition, they work with our low voltage controllers, which include the Power Focus 4002 controller as well as the Power Focus 6000 LV controller. The SL tools are transducerized. This allows them not only to be very fast, but also to be very accurate with full traceability. The Tensor SL is rated as safety critical with an accuracy of plus or minus 5% over Six Sigma. Some other notable features available on the SL tools are its compact size, its ergonomic comfort grip, as well as its intuitive onboard results feedback that really add to the user experience. Some of the applications that the Tensor SL tools are perfect for include fastening for electronics and other small components, as well as the tightening needs for smaller pieces that make up larger consumer goods. For example, the grounding cables and wires that are included on all of our appliances that we have at home, those are handled with a smaller torque tool like the Tensor SLs. Let's move on now. We're gonna move up in torque to our Tensor SR tools. While we do have a slight increase in torque capability, that is from 1.5 newton meters up to 30 newton meters, the Tensor SR tools still remain a little bit compact. They utilize our PF4000 and PF6000 controllers, and they have a different cable than the Tensor SL tools. Like the Tensor SL tools that we did talk about, the Tensor SRs are ESD certified and they're transducerized. So they do provide plus or minus 5% accuracy for safety critical applications. Their transducerized motor allows them to run at higher speeds than similar versions of an SL tool or an ST tool. This adds to the Tensor SR's productivity level as it reduces cycle times. Not only is the SR tool highly productive, it's also compact as I mentioned. It is ergonomic and it's highly configurable with different operator feedback options. Some additional options include on the inline tool and the pistol grip model, push to start configuration as well as front end lights. One other really cool feature of the Tensor SR pistol grip model is that when it is run with turbo type strategy, it allows an operator to complete one-handed fastenings up to 25 newton meters without the requirement of a reaction bar. So it's very versatile across a lot of applications. Some of the applications that the Tensor SR tools are excellent for because of their compact size and ESD rating include fastening of components for the electric car assemblies, as well as battery manufacturing. We know that these two segments are definitely leading us into the future. So that means that the SR tool has a bright future. And speaking of the future, our next tool is Atlas Copco's next generation STR tool. It is taking ergonomics and productivity to new levels. Like the Tensor SR tools, the transducerized STR tool runs on the Power Focus 4000 as well as the Power Focus 6000 controllers and it utilizes the same cable as the SR tools. With safety critical accuracy, the STR tool offers six configurations 
including, as you see behind me, a right angle model, an inline model, a pistol grip tool, and a couple that you haven't seen yet. The two trigger model, as well as the crow foot and the open ended tools. The Tensor STRs are IP54 rated, and they also have a new motor design and modular components. This allows the Tensor STR to dissipate heat 20% better than its predecessor ST tool, which of course extends the life of the STR tool. While the STR tool can be used with the Power Focus 4000 controller, as I mentioned, to really optimize the new features the STR has, you'd want to use it with the Power Focus 6000 platform. Some of the features include 10% faster run times versus the predecessor ST tool, as well as advanced tightening capabilities, which include turbo tight strategy and true angle strategy. These help and improve the accuracy of the STR tool as well as enhance the operator experience. Another thing that I'd like to mention that's new to the STR tool is its dual accessory bus, which allows it to run two different onboard accessories at the same time. For instance, you could add a front trigger as well as an EHMI unit to the STR tool and both would operate. This is pretty cool because prior to this, only one accessory was available on the predecessor ST tool. As you can see, the very high level versatility of the STR tool makes it an excellent solution for so many different applications across several industries. From driveline to final assembly, to aerospace, as well as the manufacturing of consumer goods, the STR tool is the right tool for so many jobs. Now that you've learned about the next generation STR tool, I think it's important that we circle back to the predecessor, which is the Tensor ST tool. While some of the models have been replaced in the Tensor ST line by the STR tools, it's important to understand that the larger tools that have a very expansive torque range from one newton meter to 4,000 newton meters still reside under the Tensor ST tool family. Offered in five configurations, the ST tool has a right angle model, an inline model, a pistol grip model, a crawfoot model, as well as an open ended model. And these have many things in common with the STR tool that we just spoke of. This includes the same cable capability, as well as the same controller compatibility. In addition to the same safety critical accuracy of plus or minus 5% over Six Sigma. This accuracy is maintained with cables up to 50 meters long because the ST has 100% digital communication. In addition, the Tensor ST's internal bus supports smart accessories. So the operator has all the results and feedback he needs on board the actual tool. The robust ST tool with its wide torque range and fixture ability, along with its versatile options and onboard accessories, really do make it an optimal choice in many applications, many that are similar to the STR tool that we have just talked about. Expanding on the list of applications, for which the Tensor ST tool is perfect. We need to talk about the Tensor ST Revo tool because it is a very high torque tool and available in only one configuration, the pistol grip. Many people seem to categorize the Tensor Revo all on its own, but it's actually an extension of the ST line. It utilizes the same controller platform and maintains the same level of safety critical accuracy as its counterpart, Tensor ST tools. It has an exceptional torque range from 60 newton meters up to 8,000 newton meters. The Revo truly is revolutionary because it is an electric tool that's able to achieve the same torque as traditional pneumatic tools, but the Revo does it better. It is quieter, it is lighter in weight, and it is more compact. 
So these improvements really do add to the user experience, but the Revo does maintain a very high power to weight ratio. With a 360 degree swivel option, as well as the convenience of onboard programming and results, the Revo was made to be ergonomic. It was also made to be safe. It offers onboard safety alerts and features that are customizable. In addition, we have many optional safety handles as well as reaction bars that help prevent injury as the torque level rises to any operator. The Revo is very robust and offers very high torque capability. So it is a no brainer for many applications across the heavy truck and bus industry, as well as wind energy segment, the construction and off-road segments. Speaking of robust tools, we're now going to move on to the Tensor ES line. The Tensor ES is slightly different than some of the tools that I've spoken about today. It's offered in six configurations, including the right angle, the inline, the pistol grip, the fixtured, a crawfoot, and an open end model. And these were meant to be used with our Power Focus 600 controller that was recently phased out. But the ES tools are still available and they are now able to be used with our Power Focus 6000 controller. Another reason the ES line differs slightly from the other tools I've talked to you about today is because while it is transducerized and it has torque capability of 0.8 up to 120 newton meters, it is actually a quality critical tool, meaning that its accuracy rating is plus or minus seven and a half percent over Six Sigma. The Tensor ES, while maybe not as accurate as some of the other tools we've spoken about, it definitely holds a candle in terms of robustness. It has a sealed body design and a very durable motor, so it's able to stand up to extremely tough manufacturing and production environments. This, along with its highly configurable options, make it a great choice for tough environments. The ES tools are also hot swap capable. They feature a rubberized handle and are capable of handling TurboTight strategy. They provide onboard operator feedback. So they're basically a slightly dressed down version that still maintains productivity, ergonomics, and an intuitive operator experience. So the Tensor ES is great for applications within the electric car and battery industry. In addition, its robust design really does help it stand up to those very tough environments. As you can see, we've covered a lot of ground. We've gone through all the cable tools that make up the Tensor tool family. I hope that you've learned a lot and that you'll join me next time. And in the meantime, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the marketing team or your Atlas Capco representative, and we'll be glad to help you. Until next time, take care.